we can look at a problem called find median from data stream. So given so the median is basically the middle value in an order integer list. So if the size of the list is even, there is no middle value and the median is basically the mean of the two middle values. So the mean is basically the average of the two middle values, right? So for example, array is equal to two and three. The median is basically two plus three divided by two, right? You can see that this is basically the mean or the middle value, uh, the average value between the, the two middle values. Or if it's even, sorry, if it's an odd um, size list, right? We just take the middle value. In this case, the middle value is basically the uh, three, right? So that's gonna be our median. So what we're trying to do here in this problem is that we're trying to implement a class, a median finder class. So we want to, uh, this basically, this is the constructor, right? Construct the class. Uh, this, and then what we're gonna do then is we're gonna also have to implement those two functions. So th this is at number, and the other one is trying to find the median of all elements so far, right? So you can see here, we're returning a double, okay? So in this case, if we have a situation like this, then in this case, instead of returning three, we should return 3.0, okay? And you can see here, we have an example like this, where we have one, two, right? So first we construct this uh, class, we create an instance of this class, and then we add one, right? So we, and then we add two. So what's gonna happen is that first we add one, then we add two, and then we want to find the median. In this case, the median is going to 1.5 because in this case, we're taking the average of one and two, right? So then we continue to add. So now we have three, right? So once we add three, if I were to find the median, in this case, it's going to be 2.0 because we're just going to get the median, which is the middle value, right? Because this one, because the list, we have, we have a, um, a basically a odd size list, right? So we're just returning the middle value in double form. Right, so you can see here is the explanation. And then some of the constraints that we have is that um, we can have negative values and there will be at least one element in the data stru structure before calling find median. So we are we know that there will at least be values in our in our data structure um, before we call the find median value of uh, find median function, right? So in this case, how can we be able to solve this problem? Well, one way we can solve this problem is basically we can using a any um, list data structure, right? Like array list, link list, or anything to store the values that we add. And then if I want to find the median, I can basically sort the array and then iterate to the middle value or the middle and then find the middle value or basically iterate to the middle, find the median, uh, find the, uh, the median, right? Or the middle two values and then get, a, get the average or get the mean out of those two values. Um, but you can see that if we were to do this approach, um, the time complexity for add numbers, right, is basically an average of big O of n, right, where n is number of elements that we have in the array, right? And then the, the time complexity for find the median, in this case, we have to sort the array, right? For sorting array, it's gonna be a login, and then we have to um, iterate to the array. So basically, time complexity is, for find median is basically gonna be big O of n login, right? So how can we be able to solve this problem in the optimal way? So to optimize the time complexity, what we can do is we can use two heaps to solve this problem, right? So the reason why we use heaps here is because we can be able to find the median value, right? By, have, by utilizing one max heap and the one minimum, one min heap, right? So let's say we have a max heap, right? And that we know that max heap, um, the maximum value will be at the top. So we have, let's say six and one, right? And then for min heap, usually we have the minimum value at the top, right? So let's say, for example, uh, array seven and eight. So let's say we have a list, right? So one, six, seven, and eight. In this case, if I want to find the median, in this case, instead of like iterating to the, the middle two values, or in this case, the middle values, um, what we can do is that we can be able to utilize a heap and break it down so that we can have the, the, the first half right, the first half of our list added onto the max heap, and then the, mid, the the last half of the list, right, added onto the min heap, so that if I want to find the median, right, in this case, I will just take the average out of the top elements that we have in two heaps. And let's say we have another value, right, let's say we have like nine, for example, and what we're going to do is that we're going to break it down as well. So let's, so in this case, what we can do is we can have a balance function, right, we can balance the heap, 
so that we can have seven added onto the max heap. And then we're going to have nine added onto the min heap. And then in this case, if I want to find the median, in this case, we know that the size of the list is a odd size list. So what we can do is that we can basically find the middle value, which is basically the top value, right? That we have in our max heap. And you can see that this way we can be able to retrieve the, the top element in a constant time, right? So if I were, were to insert an element onto the heap, then this will give us a log in time complexity because for insertion in heap um, is basically log in, right? So in this case, what we can do is that every time when we add an element, right, what we can do is that we can add it onto the heap, right? Based on the, uh, because in this case, we want to make sure we have elements added in a sorted order, right? In, in a order integer list, right? So in this case, what we have to do is that let's say we have those two empty lists. So let's say we're going over this example right here, right? So first we construct the, the, the instance of the median finder and then we add one. So first we add it onto the, to the max heap. And then in this case, what's gonna happen is that we also gonna add two. So we continue to add onto the max heap. But the thing is that you realize that the max heap size is bigger than min heap. So in this case, the max heap is supposed to be bigger than min heap, right? Let's say we have an odd, odd size list, then in this case, the max heap will be bigger than min heap. But in this case, if it's bigger than min heap dot size plus one, right? If the max heap, right? If the size, the length of the max heap somehow is bigger than the length of the min heap, right? plus one, then in this case, we have to balance our heap. In this case, that means that we have too much elements in our max heap, so we have to pop it out, right? And then add it onto the min heap. So in this case, the top element and add it onto the min heap, so we have something like this, right? And then what's gonna happen is that we're going to continue trying to find the median. In this case, the median is basically the average of those two values, right? And then we add three. So in this case, what's gonna happen is that we know that three is bigger than the top element on our heap, so in this case, we have to add it onto the min heap. So in this case, what's going to happen is that we're going to have three here, right? So the the minimum value in the min heap is two. So two is the top. And then what's and what we realized is that the the max heap, right? The length of our max heap is smaller than the length of our min heap. So what we're going to do is we have to balance it. So we take the top element out of our min heap and add it onto our max heap, right? So now we should have two on the top and then uh, one, is at a, one is at a bottom, right? So what's gonna happen then is if I wanna find the median in this case, I will just take the top, I will always take the top element out of the, the max heap if it's an odd uh, size list, right? If it's an even, then I will take the average out of those top elements that we have in our max heap and min heap, right? So basically you can see this is how we solve the problem and in the code is very simple. We're gonna have a min heap and max heap. We're gonna have a size that keep track of the how many elements that we have added onto our data structure. And then first for our add num function, right? First we add the number onto the onto the correct heap. First we check to see if the min if the max heap is empty, then we can just add it onto our max heap. If the number is smaller than or equal to the max heap dot peak, right? The top element Right, if it's smaller than the top element in our max heap, then we can just add it onto our max heap. If it's bigger than, then we can just add it our add it onto our min heap. Then what we have to do is we have to balance our heaps, right? So if the min heap dot size plus one, just like I mentioned, if it's less than right max heap dot size, that means that we have too much element in our in our max heap. So what's going to happen then is we're going to um, take the top element out of the max heap and add it onto our min heap. Right, to basically re rebalance our heaps. And uh, let's say if there are too many elements in our min heap, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take the top element out of our min heap and add it onto our max heap, right? So you can see that this, this time complexity for this function is gonna be log in, where n is number of elements that we're, that we're gonna add onto our heaps, right? Uh, sorry, in, into, our, onto our, uh, into our data structure. And then in this case, for fine median in this case, is basically going to be a uh, constant time, right? Because you can, you can see here, we're basically trying to find, if it's an odd list, we're just going to return the top element, right? And of course, in a, in a type double. 
Um, if it's an even list, if, if it's an even size list, then in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to find the median, sorry, uh, the average value between the top element of, of two heaps, and then we're going to divide it by two, right? We're going to find the average of the top elements out of those two heaps, right? The, basically the two middle values. So you can see that this will give us a constant time complexity. So basically, this is how we solve the problem. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.